Hi, I'm Maureen. I'm an executive coach. And one of the questions I get asked most frequently is how do I choose a coach? Because to get the right coach for you will take just a little bit of time to work through what matters to you and their particular style of coaching so that you get the best from it. Here are five questions you can ask. The first is, what type of coach are they? And do they have any models? So for instance, if they're a very results focused coach, they may be using a model knowing as GROW, which is where you identify goals and identify how realistic they are, what obstacles are in the way and how to get past that. If they're a performance coach, it will all be about making an impact in the workplace and improving their performance, perhaps with the chance where someone might be promoted or move into a new career. They might be someone who's interested in systemic coaching, which is looking at not just the person's individual performance, but the whole organizational framework in which they operate and how to maximize the advantages that that gives them. So ask a little bit about the style of coaching that they use so that you can identify whether that is what will help you move forward with your particular topic. Secondly, ask them a little bit about their history of coaching. So some people will be coaching online. Some people like myself will do online and in person. And you might be more comfortable with one or the other. I find that when people are very busy, coaching as I do on Zoom is a really good way of making sure that they can actually identify a space where they can be reliably there on time. And for other people, because they're working in a hybrid environment, they want to actually sit down face to face occasionally with somebody and talk through an issue. And that's helpful because we get closer to the emotions that someone is carrying with them, as well as the particular intellectual issues that they're tackling. The third question might be, do they have any particular type of accreditation? If you're at all interested in coaching, you'll see that there are a range of different types of accreditation and ways in which people can become a coach. In executive coaching, they're a little bit more uh, structured. So for instance, I've trained at Henley Business School in a professional certificate in executive coaching. And like many other coaches, I've also achieved the International Coaching Federation accreditation. And why I find that helpful, although it's not essential for a coach to have this, it does bring in some ethics to the issue, such as whether we offer a contract, uh, what the contract terms are so that they safeguard both the client and the coach. And how do we make sure that we really do give time and presence to the person that we're coaching and create that atmosphere of trust on which it is all based. So an accreditation or just how someone feels about accreditation will tell you a little bit about the nature of the two-way relationships that you might have. And the next question will be, how long will the coaching sessions last and how many are in a particular programme? You'll find that many coaches operate on a three, six month or even 12 month contract whereby they stagger uh, the sessions throughout that time. And the next question, of course, is the one that everyone wants to know. What is the pricing? Well, the pricing is contrary to popular belief, not necessarily per hour, because a coach doesn't just turn up for an hour, do a coaching session and there's nothing more to it. There's preparation involved. They're thinking about the most appropriate and powerful questions that can help a client. We're also making sure that we have got our own ethics in place, that we understand the confidentiality to the client and to ourselves. So if we are looking at really high performing coaching, the chances are we're also having our own supervision, which comes at a cost. So all of those costs are built into a program and a program can vary enormously in cost. You will find that many of them are in a four figure sum and it depends on the length of time. But the question that is helpful to clients when we're talking about money is what is it worth to you to make that change and to overcome that obstacle? And that helps people really think, well, actually that change would make such a significant difference to my life that it probably is worth the investment. And that's if someone is working on a one-to-one -one basis with a coach. Very often companies will also fund coaching. So it may be that your company might be interested in helping you if it's a performance related issue or if they want to see you develop your skills further. 
Either way, most coaches will want to have a discussion about what's required, the appropriate package and the investment that's required. Please don't let money be the stumbling block because if it's staggered across a number of months or even longer, it can be much more affordable than you might think. So finally, now you've gone through all of those questions and have a stronger sense of the coaching questions you might ask, just book what we call a discovery call, a chance to meet the other person, because that two-way discussion is your chance to identify, am I on the same wavelength as this coach? Will this coach really be able to help me? And if so, when do I start? Thank you.